Hi guys, today I got something new and cool uh, to show you. So this is this toy I got from uh, EGK recently, and this is development tool uh, tools from Silicon Labs. So this is this thing called sensor pack. Yeah, I love I like this kind of toys. So uh, I just kind of got it Friday and um, still sealed. So uh, I think this is going to be a pretty cool thing, uh, uh, similar to sensor tag, I hope. And let's check it, check it out. All right, that's what we have. Two zero. Oh, this frame. Okay. I don't know all capabilities of this little uh, sensor thing, but as far as I know, it has uh, humidity and temperature sensor. I'm not sure if it has accelerometer and all this kind of jazz, um, but the cool thing it has, it has a uh, heart rate monitor here. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm really looking for. Um, I wanted to put uh, to play with heart rate monitor for a long time, but uh, I couldn't find any kind of you know inexpensive development board uh, which will give me you know possibility to play with heart rate monitor. But when I you know <laughs> during my browsing on the internet I discovered this uh, sensor uh, tag from Silicon Lab, and apparently it had it had it, and it was like it was you know I'm gonna order it immediately. All right, let's look closely. Looks like this is like serial number um, over here, and this is revision 2.1. It says on the board. Uh, here is the uh, MCU AFM32. So here is the relative humidity sensor over here. Uh, I do not know where is uh, optical sensor. It's really hard to tell. Uh, this is definitely heart rate monitor, which uh, has nomenclature or designation SI147. I think that's what it says here. It's hard to read. It's glaring. Okay, yeah, this is exactly what it says. Um, that's pretty much it. There is a power conversion, like a power module over here. And I guess TS3310 uh, is actually a um, boost converter or a DC to DC. Um, um, module D1 probably LED. I'm not sure what's this. Oh, it's probably this is probably power button over here. It says switch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It says switch one on off. Uh, I believe this is going to be a JTAG debug interface. Let's look on the other side. So over here we have battery and another chip U1 which it's really hard to to see what is that yeah it's really hard to tell um obviously for all this um uh, for this unit i will provide higher pictures and uh, some explanation sorry um and details of each individual chip uh, I really would like to see the uh, where is the optical sensor and actually where is Bluetooth module itself and antenna because I don't really see distinct antenna like it's not um, ceramic antenna uh, maybe it's like a antenna just uh, on PCB but again even that I don't see really distinct um, unless this is something related to the uh, Bluetooth and antenna module it would be kind of amazing if it has antenna inside. <laughs> Not sure. Yeah, I don't really see distinct antenna. Interesting. All right. So this unit is supposed to. Um, uh, sorry, Silicon Lab provides um, Android and iPhone um, iOS applications for actually um, working with this um, sensor pack out of the box. Uh, let's try to install and play with it. 
Uh, I just read a bit more in internet about uh, this sensor pack and apparently this um, uh, SI-147 can actually measure UV index uh, as far as I understand. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I couldn't find any other um, dedicated uh, chip or optical device here to actually do uh, ambient light measurement. So I believe this is um, this SI-147 can do that, can measure uh, ambient light and UV. Okay, uh, let's look. Um, yeah, my typing today is not. Search. Silicon Lab sensor pack. Here we are. Install. Easy peasy. Accept. Accept. Open. Okay, let's remove the top over here and power up the device. Oh my god, that's not easy to remove, I must say. Always good to have pliers beside. Okay, any life? <laughs> is my uh, favorite story with uh, that batteries on sensor tag kind of repeats itself or something <laughs> oh well me, me being stupid what about turning it on because sensor tag does not require any turn on so okay it's it just yep it just works right out of the out of the box okay so we have temperature 26 degrees which is like kind of surprising it doesn't feel that warm humidity 33 is about right it's uh, pretty dry here um ambient light uh, sorry i'm not doing that How to come back? Oh. oh, this thing being smart, and somehow sensed sensed my uh, arm or body over the sensor, and it's like try to measure heart rate. Okay, well, if this is what you want, so let's do it. Let's put finger here and see my heart rate acquiring. Reposition. Okay, well, I'll try. Is this my heart rate so high? 77. Okay, well, it's measuring something. I don't have any other device to um, measure my heart rate, except just measure my heart rate as we did it for hundreds of years. Uh, it's going all over the place, 72 till 90 to 96, it's quite a big range. I would say phone is not cooperating here. Okay, it stabilizes around 80 something, 82 probably, probably 80 around. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's remove. Interesting. Ambient light is 380. Temperature, humidity. That's pretty much it, but that's, that's amazing. Uh, I have only one device I can try to simulate uh, UV. <laughs> I do have four or five nanometer laser. Uh, I'm not gonna do it now because it's I don't have it set up. But it, that's near UV or close to UV. We can try to play with this laser. Uh, in my my other video, I will you know do experiment. We'll see how what we're gonna get. But you know, uh, so far out of the box experience, pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, 
it works like a charm. It worked right away without any fiddling around. And I don't know what's going to happen if you're going to have two sensors because it's thematically found one and there is no option to pick another sensor like we, um, uh, for example, saw in sensor tag uh, application. But it, an am amount of sensors here is way less than what we have in sensor tag. But hey, heart rate monitor is pretty cool. And UV is pretty cool too. And the price of this uh, sensor pack is pretty close to um, sensor tech. Um, I paid like 41 or 40 Canadian dollars uh, from DigiKey. And uh, sensor, uh, sensor tech is about the same price, like dollar plus minus. Uh, but we know that sensor tech has way more sensors in it. But nevertheless, this is amazing. And I. I um, I will be looking towards uh, making some kind of uh, project with this uh, sensor pack, uh, explore more options, and also be checking and evaluating software and to see how easy is. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, well, here we have it. So this is a very nice diagram explaining what is what on sensor pack. So yeah, SI1. 147 1147 optical sensor apparently is the D sensor which can, uh, can measure UV index uh, TS3310 as I, uh, as I uh, was kind of guessing is boost converter uh, SI7021 is uh, temperature and humidity sensor and EFM32 energy friendly friendly MCU what about backside there is nothing about backside. I'm curious uh, what device is responsible for Bluetooth. Right, guys, I think this is going to be it for this short unboxing review and first impression video. I also want to evaluate the, soft, uh, the software and how easy to start uh, playing and developing for this um, uh, sensor pack. Sensor pack and for EFM32 uh, MCU from uh, Silicon Lab. I'll probably try to create a video about this, or for, but first I have to figure this out. Uh, I haven't played with the Silicon Lab software and I don't really know much about EFM32 MCUs or any other MCU from Silicon Lab. So there is something cool. To Stay tuned for my future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.